Captain Logan clearly enjoyed the challenge of exploring and he devoted a considerable amount of energy to trips inland from Brisbane. However, he achieved one of his most important discoveries by sea on his first major expedition, the discovery of the Logan River in 1826. The existence of such a river, well known to the Yingambi people, had been suspected by the white settlers for some time, but no serious attempt had been made to locate it. Logan explored some of the river by boat, but the river was very shallow, so he decided to explore the surrounding land by foot. He also thought the surrounding country was the finest tract of land he had ever seen in this or any other country. In honour of the governor, Logan named his discovery the Darling River. However, the governor changed the name in 1827, announcing that it was to be called the Logan in recognition of Patrick Logan's enthusiasm as commandment at Moreton Bay. In 1827, Governor Darling decided to visit Brisbane Town. He arrived unannounced and found that Captain Logan was unfortunately not at the settlement. He was once again out exploring. Logan was so excited to be out exploring the amazing sights of this beautiful country. He explored the Bremer River, Ipswich, the Logan River and Mount Barney. He had set up camps along the Logan River near present-day Logan Village. He continued his exploration on foot through Cooper's Plains and then back to Brisbane. Inquiry question 6. When did Captain Logan discover the Logan River? And what were the names of other places that he had explored? If you can't remember, go back and listen carefully to find the evidence. Remember to record your answers on your inquiry question sheet. Good luck.